What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Tool Time. In this video we'll be looking at the spiral tool in Adobe Illustrator and if you want to follow along then you can download a free template file for this lesson from the description below. Okay I'm going to pass over to our lead designer Rory who will show you how it works. Thanks Ross. So the spiral tool can be found underneath the line segment tool over on the left hand toolbar. So if I click and hold on here, it's the third option down. Now we can use this by simply clicking and dragging anywhere within our document. And this is the default spiral that will be created. Now, if I hold shift, it's going to lock to 45 degree angle rotations. You can see if I move my mouse around, it's snapping to these rotations. I'll go with something like this for now. And I'm just gonna press I on my keyboard and click on the example on the left hand side just to copy the stroke style and we'll move back across here. So I'll reposition this, let's zoom in and we'll grab the spiral tool again. Now there are a few keyboard shortcuts that we can use when creating these spirals. So if I click and drag again to create a new one, if I tap R on my keyboard that's essentially going to reflect the direction in which it's going. If I tap the up arrow we can add more segments in the center of the spiral or the down arrow arrow is going to remove segments and if I hold shift and command that's essentially going to adjust the amount of decay in the spiral. So we'll go over that in more detail in just a second. What I'm going to do with this one is just slightly reposition this and we'll rotate it as well just to create a simple design out of these first two and I'll click and drag over both of them. Let's scale them down and reposition them again. Now if I grab the spiral tool and simply click once we get a dialog box popping up where we can actually enter to precise values. So the first one here is radius and that's the size of the largest segment within our spiral. So each segment is essentially a quarter of a circle and the decay is how much each of these quarter circles is going to reduce by as it gets smaller. So what I mean by that is we can set a radius of 100 pixels for example and we'll set the decay to 80% and we'll maybe make this six segments. So I'll just click OK. Here is the spiral that we get. I'm going to grab my direct selection tool, click and drag over the last anchor point, press command X then command F to paste this back in place and with this section now selected you can see up in my control bar this is 100 by 100 pixels which is the value we set within our radius option. So I'm just going to delete that, I'm going to do the same thing if I cut away this anchor point now with command X and command F, we'll go back to our selection tool, you can see this one is 80 pixels because we set a decay of 80%. So I'm just going to delete this for now and we'll create one more here where we will reduce the number of segments. I'll press R again to reflect this and again I'm just going to reposition this with my selection tool and we'll leave it there for this example. So moving on I'll grab my spiral tool yet again. Let's click and drag a new spiral out. You can see we only have two segments here so I'm just going to hold up on my keyboard and add a whole bunch more and you can see these just converge into the center of the spiral. So what I'll do from here is hold shift and command or shift and control on a PC and we're going to adjust the amount of decay and make this really quite small so it's only decaying slightly from segment to segment and I'll hold up some more to add more segments within the center and I'll hold shift as well and let go. Again let's switch back to our eyedropper tool, eye on the keyboard, I'll click on the example on the left hand side and we can copy the formatting of this. But there you have a very brief overview of the spiral tool in Adobe Illustrator. 